Once upon a time, in the heart of West Africa, there existed a powerful and prosperous kingdom known as Ghana. This kingdom, not to be confused with the modern country of Ghana, flourished from the 6th to the 13th century CE and played a significant role in shaping the region's history, trade, and culture. The story of the Kingdom of Ghana begins with its location, situated in the region known as the Sahel, which stretches across the southern edge of the Sahara Desert. Ghana occupied a strategic position along the trans-Saharan trade routes. This allowed the kingdom to control and benefit from the exchange of valuable goods, including gold, salt, ivory, and enslaved people. The Kingdom of Ghana was renowned for its vast wealth, particularly in gold. The kingdom's rulers, known as Ghana, derived their power and prosperity from the gold mines located within their territories. They established a system of taxation and regulation of gold mining, enabling them to accumulate great wealth and maintain control over the kingdom's economic resources. Ghana's wealth attracted the attention of traders from far and wide. Merchants from North Africa, the Mediterranean, and the Middle East ventured across the vast Sahara Desert to trade with the people of Ghana. These trade routes brought not only valuable goods but also ideas, languages, and cultural exchanges, enriching the kingdom's society. The capital city of the Kingdom of Ghana was combed by Saleh, a bustling center of trade, commerce, and cultural exchange. It was a vibrant city with markets filled with merchants from different regions, offering a wide array of goods. The city was also home to skilled artisans, musicians, and scholars who contributed to the kingdom's cultural and intellectual life. The rulers of Ghana, known as Ghana, held considerable authority. They governed with the assistance of a council of advisors and relied on a well-organized bureaucracy to manage the affairs of the kingdom. The Ghana maintained a powerful army, ensuring the security and defense of their realm. Religion played an essential role in the Kingdom of Ghana. The people of Ghana practiced a variety of indigenous African religions, worshipping a pantheon of gods and spirits. As the kingdom prospered and interacted with Muslim traders, Islam also gained influence in the region. The coexistence of traditional African religions and Islam shaped the spiritual landscape of the kingdom. Education and learning were highly valued in Ghana. The kingdom boasted centers of intellectual and cultural exchange, where scholars, griots, oral historians, and storytellers gathered. These centers fostered the preservation of oral history, the arts, and the dissemination of knowledge among the people of Ghana. The decline of the Kingdom of Ghana began in the 11th century CE, as neighboring states sought to challenge its dominance. The Almoravids, a powerful Islamic empire from North Africa, launched invasions into the kingdom, seeking to control its wealth and convert its people to Islam. These conflicts weakened Ghana's power and disrupted its trade routes. Furthermore, environmental factors played a role in Ghana's decline. Droughts and desertification encroached upon the kingdom's territories, making agriculture and trade more challenging. As trade routes shifted and new centers of power emerged, Ghana gradually lost its prominence in the region. By the 13th century CE, the Kingdom of Ghana had fragmented into smaller states. The once mighty empire was replaced by new rising powers, such as the Mali Empire. The legacy of Ghana, however, lived on in the memories, traditions, and historical accounts of the region. The Kingdom of Ghana left an indelible mark on the history and culture of West Africa. Its wealth, governance systems, and role as a hub of trans-Saharan trade influenced subsequent empires and kingdoms in the region. The story of Ghana serves as a testament to the richness and complexity of ancient African civilizations, reminding us of the diverse and significant contributions they made to the tapestry of human history.